Hey guys, myself Rakesh and in this video we are going to learn Python data types and we are going to focus on number kind of a variable okay the data types for example integer string those become those are all different data types right so let's let's un, uh, let's understand in number there are three different data types it could be an integer that means it's a whole number it could be a float that means a decimal number or it could be a complex number many people have a good understanding what is an integer what is a float but a complex is a bit of confusion in most of us so let's clear that with through this example so first of all let's create some variables so the moment you create a variable and you assign a value it automatically understand okay the data type of x is now integer let's say i'm saying y if i'm typing five point so the the python will understand that now the y variable is a float data type if i say z is equals to let's say i'm saying 8j okay something like that the moment i type uh, or let's say minus 8j anything i type so, so this j donates the imaginary number or the complex number i'm going to talk about that now python will understand okay the z variable is now a complex kind of a data type or a complex number okay now you will be interested to see how do i see the data type you said the moment you are assigning a value the variable data type is determined if i'm assigning 3 it says okay x is a integer type if i'm assigning in a decimal number then it understands a float so how do i see that rakesh very simple all you do type print and in the parenthesis you type type is the function and i am going to understand the type of x and i'm going to close the print so what i'm doing using the type function i am able to identify what is the type for x so let's run it for example okay if i run it for x it is an integer type okay the same thing we can copy paste just to see what are the other two types copy paste and here i'm going to say y and here i am going to say z done three things are done let's run it so what what happened integer float and complex the third one is a complex types okay so we understood now the question is integer now we'll go one by one okay we'll start with the integer let's say i'll take the only the x variable now let's say x is equal to 3 okay now this is an integer now anything even let's keep those y i'm just focusing on integer now okay if i say minus 3 is it an integer yes it is also an integer any whole number remember any whole number is a integer type so what if i type um, uh, 3 or uh, minus 3 or whatever you type right so all this will become an integer type for example if i print x copy and but it should not have decimal okay integer means it should only be the whole number no decimal this is the point you should remember if it has a decimal then it will become a float type so if i print x and y for both of this it should show me they are whole numbers it should show me the class is integer or the data type should be integer type it's an integer it's a whole number okay you can see the output has come integer integer even though it's a negative number understood positive or negative but again it should be a whole number not having a decimal now the moment you have a decimal then it will become a float the moment i have a decimal let's say for example 3 point something i am typing okay now even in the negative number if i have some if i print now if i do f5 this will become a float type the moment you have a decimal this will become a float type so the uh, thing that you should remember if anything has a decimal then the data type should be a float type it will automatically assign the float data type to x getting it now let's say complex complex what is complex okay first thing is what is complex generally the complex i will explain okay that what is complex is very important now if i say x is equal to sorry if i say x is equal to minus 5j i'm going to explain okay the j generally i is written in in those who are mathematicians they should know i 
i is an imaginary number similarly in python instead of phi the j is used to donate the imaginary part so what is this imaginary part right big question big question in all of our mind so don't worry i am going to help you a little bit so here if i print this first of all let's print this if i am printing x what is the type it is saying complex type so what is this complex type rakesh don't worry let me help you let's say if i ask you 5 into 5 how much 25 right so square root of 25 is equal to 5 similar way for example 8 into 8 8 into 8 is equal to how much 64 so square root of 64 become 8 that means when you are multiplying two numbers some value is coming and if you put a square root of that some value is coming now if i ask you square root of minus 1 what i am asking you can you calculate using your calculator also if you calculate if i ask what what i am asking i am asking you calculate square root of minus 1 uh, getting my question if i asking you calculate the square root of 25 the value is 5 calculate the square root of 64 the value is 8 it's very simple you know uh, or calculate so here there is also a table where they are showing square root of 2 i mean when you are multiplying 1 dot 4 to 1 in, in two times right with the same number the output should come 2 that means if you are multiplying 8 into 8 the output should come 64 that is the meaning now if i ask you calculate the square root of minus 1 now the value is actually an imaginary number you cannot calculate it's an imaginary number but something has to exist right when i square root i mean something should multiply to create a number right for example 2 or for example 6 3 into 3 um, 3 into 2 is equal to 6 or let's say 9 3 into 3 is equal to 9 there is something to create it now for minus 1 what is creating it so that's where the scientists have said okay it's an imaginary number it's an imaginary number so to donate that imaginary number mathematicians started using i but in python the same i is replaced with a j okay so here the this is a real number and there's a imaginary number there is something at understanding so that is the whole meaning of a complex number if you are not into into mathematics so you don't have to really worry about this so much but again you got an understanding what is a complex number just typing a j will donate that as a complex number and if you want to print that if you want to print the type of that you can just see it by typing x okay that is more or the less about the complex numbers okay having a little bit of understanding will be of lot of help so it's a complex type okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video we are going to come up with more such interesting contents which is going to help you to build the python knowledge uh, in a very strong base having a lot of knowledge uh, a lot of basic concepts we are going to create contents in that way thank you take care